this is the vegan anarchist aloe vera. See, aloe vera. And in this video, see, and in this video, I'm gonna make a case for anarcho populism, also called libertarian populism or lip sock populism. Basically, what I'm arguing is for anarchists to be to be populist. Now, before you turn off because, well, populism has acquired a negative buzzword, let me explain to you what populism is. Populism is basically, is basically, so basically, champion the little man, the people, against a perceived enemy, or in our case, the actual enemy, the fucking elite class who owns the land, the resources, and the means of production versus the everyday prolies and normal people and the common folks. The difference, what I'm saying is, us anarchists, we need to get out of a little bubble, stop using buzzwords that only other anarchists slash leftists understand, and start using words that the common folks will use, and Use negative words like, let's say, the elite, or the 1%, and use them interchangeably with bourgeois to get, so people gain the associations. You must, and yeah, examples of populist, well, populist politicians would be anyone from Bernie Sanders and Jeremy Corbyn and Hugo Chavez to Le Pen who can fuck off. Well, they all can fuck off. And fucking burn and fucking Donald fucking Trump. But they can all fuck off. Because unlike regular populism and anarchist libertarian pop socialist populism, instead of saying, I represent, I the represent, all the politicians represent the will of the people and I will go in office and smash stuff for you, it, it says we represent ourselves. It says we, only we can represent ourselves. Only we. And so it flips it. Instead of becoming a cult of personality like Trump has, it radically challenges it. In fact, it challenges authority. So thus, libertarian populism. We must use crises that happen all the time because of capitalism to our advantage and to wake up and bread pill and to people, the masses and class consciousness. And we must also use languages that normal everyday people use. Not misogynist, but you know, or oppressive or bigoted, but don't be afraid to use slang. Like, especially internet slang, like, people online who are, say, rebels, but not really rebels, would use things like the Illuminati, or the rich, or the corporations, or the elites. But if you say land-owning elite, or property-owning elites, or the elite that run the country by owning every all the f factories and all the stores and stuff like that. We basically the bourgeoisie. We just swap them out. But every once in a while, throw the words in there like bougie. And to those people, and to those people, the people start to associate because those are the real association. Unlike the right wing one, where we blame the little guy. We are neither nativist, nationalist, nor globalist because we're against globalization because globalization what it really is is the globalization of of the power of the ruling elite the corporate elite the property owning elite and it influence and stretch across the world it is the new name of imperialism rather instead of dividing the people of the world the exploited masses the exploited folks we unite them across borders because the only way to stand up to an international cabal and growing international cabal of capitalist elites is for us, the commoners, to unite and globalize our resistance. 
and we must also localize our resistance too. Think global, stay local. And you must fight in solidarity. Because we the people are going to solve our own problems. With direct action. Instead of relying on politicians, it radically states that the populace can solve our own. Anarchists, lip socks, we must unite. Unite and start being populist. Champion the cause of the people. Because once you do, once you reach out to accommodate every folk, like Joe, who, who's getting foreclosed on, or Nancy, who has two kids and has to choose between feed your kids or the electric bill, you must appeal to those people because they may not be able to read literature, but we can speak in a language they understand, and that's what we need to do. Less jargon that puts food on your table and give them bread, less infighting, and instead speak how they speak in the language they understand and fucking appeal to their to and tap into their frustrations and distrust of all established institutions. Because us anarchists, that's what we are. We distrust before, against hierarchical authority and we can use that to to uh, our commonality to tap in to their frustration and bring us to the movement and kick off some revolutionary zeal. This is the vegan anarchist. No me, no milk, no masters. One people, one struggle. The people united shall never be defeated. See ya! Peace and war against the elites.